Hey, what's going on guys? It's Clinton with Omega Vending. I am here back again with another video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be going to one of my locations. I got a call yesterday and apparently one of the slots keep getting stuck um, on the drink. So I'm gonna try to figure out what is going on with that. I think I know what it is. Um, I recently had to replace some of the shims. I have a this particular machine is a Bev Max 5591. And since I got the machine, I'm gonna be honest, like it's a good machine. It works, but it's been giving me more hell than any of the other ones I have. So and it's been mostly things related to drinks not vending correctly for some reason. It'll the mechanism will pop open so it can release the drink and then the drink doesn't come out. So I found that it would be one or two things um, and that main thing would be the shims. The shim on that slot may not be the right size for it to vend properly. So I did order some shims and I got them in um, like a couple days ago. But I bought these shims because I had had a another issue with them and I just wanted to make sure I had some sitting around that way I didn't have to go wait and order and that kind of deal but I got some in the other day so we're gonna see if if this will do the trick so join me guys you get to see that part and um, I'm actually gonna stock the machine while I'm there the, the snack machine so um, we should be there probably about 15 20 minutes but it'll be instant for you guys so I'll see you when I get there all right, guys. Yeah, so got to figure out why that's doing that. Check it out. I'm gonna see about changing out that shim and putting a new one there. Let's try this again. Let's see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push the uh, menu button and put it in service mode, which should already be there. Then we're gonna press uh, nine. I'm gonna press star. Hold on. Uh, star. Then we're gonna do a seven. Let's see why it's doing that? A seven. All right. So I guess it's just one of those one-off things, man. You know, this is gonna happen sometimes on some of these some of these slots, but how did that get back there? All right, so, restock that. Right, we'll have to refill these. Thankfully, I brought my drinks with me, so we'll be able to restock those for them. And look at this. This looks like that got stuck too as well. Uh, so understand man I think I'm gonna have to double check these shims on my on my 16 ounce bottles we're gonna do it again we're gonna do C5 we'll do C5 alright so I guess it's just one offs man they, they do it sometimes and you know, sometimes I'll get calls about it sometimes I don't I don't at the end of the day, you know, as a vending operator, you want to make sure you do all you can to make sure your customers aren't dealing with so many issues. And uh, I actually changed this machine out. I had a smaller machine here at first, and it was a small Coke machine, and this was not doing good. So we put this in to give them more options. Look at this. I don't have a shim there. So, boom. Guys, this is what happened when you don't have shims, the right shims, and I have to put a shim over there. And so, originally I had bottles on this row, and uh, they like cans here. They, they drink a lot more cans than they do bottles, so I wanted to give them a little more options in cans, and so that's what we did. I came here last week, I think it was last week, and I put shims on here, and uh, I'll tag, I'll put down in the description where I got these from if you have a Bevmax 5591. 
it's a great company they have these in stock and uh as for the other ones i'm not seeing any stuff that have shims on that's the wrong shim now so we'll have to replace that one i have them with me today so we'll do that um but i'll tag the company down here at the bottom of the video somewhere where you guys could get these from if you have a bev max 5591 we'll put a, a shim here and then i'll probably change this shim out with some extra ones i got down here and then um hopefully that'll do the trick but you know like i said i think it's just those one-off situations where you know it just gets stuck you really can't do nothing about it but um as far as the customer goes my responsiveness to them is crucial and i want them to see that because at the same time your clients may get frustrated with the issues and just decide hey man you know we need a new machine or we got to find somebody else and we don't want that so we want to do all we can to make sure that they're happy at the end of the day even if that means you got to get up and go when you weren't planning on it okay but that's a part of the business so almost done so what we're gonna do here we're gonna take off this ship oh well, actually we need to put one on so So again, you could buy these shims. I probably should have opened it up. Hold on one, hold on one second. All right, so you could buy these shims from, what's the name of the company? I think you get like 10, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It might be 10. You get 10 of these for like, I'll say like 20 bucks. I may be wrong, I don't know. I, I had. I had my wife check on these for me. This is the size you need for your can. So if you have a Bev Max 5591, um, these are the shims that go on there. And they have longer ones. You can get the longer style if you want, but I don't think this guy sells those, sell the longer ones, but I'll put his information down in the, the comment section and you guys can, if you have this machine, you can go through him and get it. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put that shim on just like that. And we'll snap it in. It snaps right in, so just like that. So this this allows the can the right space to be able to move over and not get caught here. This thing right here. See, when I initially put these up here, I uh, I took off the shims that were that were originally on it. And those are for uh, bottles, and so it was causing the cans to get stuck. And then when I took them off. It caused this little piece to, let me see if I can get it out here. This piece right, this piece right here to get caught on the cans like this and then they won't bend out. So what we had to do was we had to put, find the right shim. And so boom, we're not having that issue anymore. So I'm gonna put one over here and uh, I changed that one out already so we shouldn't be getting that but you know sometimes these things are gonna get stuck on this machine it's just something you can do i mean it's a machine things are gonna happen so uh, but anyway guys all right we're gonna do this and then i'll come back after this once we got them all loaded on all right all right guys so we got that one in we got one for some other to get on we got it all right so we're all good to go and uh yeah that's it Got them all stocked up. All right, guys, we're back. We've completed that location. Everything checked out. All the uh, all the roads are bending properly, so we're good. Now, I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Those of you who have a 5591 Bev Max or whatever, um, or are thinking about getting one, um, this is a common issue with those machines also sometimes on that machine and i wish i could have gotten a video of it and maybe one day i'll try to see if i can catch it doing it but sometimes on those 
those vending machines where they drop instead of an arm coming and get it and taking it to the side. Sometimes it could it would drop and it'll hit one of the other selections and pop into a row that is empty. That has happened as well, so it's crazy. Those machines, man, they're all over the place and stuff. But I hope this uh, video is helpful to you guys. If you're thinking about getting one, these are some of the common issues that you're gonna have. Not having the right shims or having to replace shims and stuff like that. Um, some of the time I have issues with my 16 ounce bottles not vending. Um, it's like with the shims that I have, which are 16 out for 16, 20 ounce bottles, they get stuck. Like it's so tight, it won't like once a mechanism open up to allow the, the drink to come out, it won't go. So I've had to play with it and find you know other types of shims and stuff like that to help. But yeah, that is a common issue with those. So it's a great machine. I mean, it's an older model. Yeah, you can always buy a new, but those new machines, I'm just gonna be real with you. They look great, I love them. If I could go replace every last, <laughs> if I could replace every last one of my machines with a brand new whatever, I would, in the drop of a dime, but the older models, they get the job done as well. All right guys, but other than that, I do appreciate you guys for always coming through showing love hitting this thing with a like your comments all of that man I, I really appreciate all the new followers that i've gained so far you know it's not a lot but we, we're gonna get there guys but i appreciate every last one of y'all and um if i could be of help to you um don't hesitate to reach out um, like i said before in all my other videos if i see the comment i'll i'll reply to it Ask me any question, no matter what it is. I'm not here to sell you nothing. All this information is free. You ain't gotta go get no ebook. This is not to throw any shots at anybody. Get your bread how you get your bread. But I've been blessed, so I'm here to pass on the blessing. So no ebooks. Oh, <laughs> no ebooks my way. You can get you can get it right, right hot like it is. So um, again, thanks again, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right, we're out.